The drummer for the band Tool believes he can summon demons to do his bidding, doing it by using ritual magic with the use of trance-like drum patterns and rhythms. Some may argue that it is just hype, but it's a little hard to believe knowing the fact that his dad was a master mason, and had as Danny describes it, free Masonic writings all over the house, which he says he was fascinated with and said his dad didn't try to hide from him but instead, in his words, push him that way, says he is indebted to his dad for doing so. Danny says his drums are a tool to connect the listeners to the demons. He says when people come to see us I want to make it as much of a ritualistic experience as possible. Danny Carey has set up his drums in what he describes as proportions utilizing the circle and square of the New Jerusalem. Okay, it gets a little crazy here I know, but it says he utters a short prayer relating to the principles of the Ace of Swords from the Book of Thoth. Don't look at me, I couldn't make this stuff up if I wanted to. Anyhow with one more little ritual using what he says he has learned, it results in a rhythm and gateway which summons a demon. He says he has contained within the lodge that has been delivering short parables sort of like passages within the Book of Lie. So is this all them just messing around and the whole thing is just hype? Through the years I have seen a lot of bands do a whole lot of hype which usually consists of some pentagrams and maybe pictures of things like even devils, but this seems different to me. The details are well just too detailed. Everything is just way too in-depth and seems to be scarily accurate with the Crowley books and I know for sure that Alistair Crowley was absolutely no hype at all. Danny Carey to me has much more than just idle curiosity, but I don't know him personally and don't have any idea of what is in his heart, so you will just have to figure that one out, and if you do please come back and let us know, down in the comments, because I have no idea myself.